Peter Obi has visited Peter of Peace Square. This is coming just a few hours after the former um, presidential aspirant um, visited his brothers, Paul Okoye and Jude Okoye. After he visited these ones, you guys, social media was like, okay, are you not going to visit Peter? What happened? Is he only these ones you're going to visit? Or are, are these the only people you're going to visit? You need to visit Peter also. And I think he has really had a plan before he went to visit um, Paul and Jude. Because just less than 24 hours later, there are videos on social media where he went to visit um, Peter Okoye. You guys, I will not go over the story again. We all know what's going on with them. And I've made a lot of videos talking about, you know, the backstory of why these people need this visitation. And if you ask me, I feel like it's a very wise decision that Peter B has taken to visit them separately. As you guys know, everybody has their own side of the story. So if he visits them together, it's not there like he's going to... From the look of things, things at the moment, right he's now. trying to pacify the both parties. Like, okay... Paul and Jude, what has happened? Calm down. You need to make peace with your brother. You need to, you know, find a way to fix this financial issue. Then he goes to Peter. Oh, I see why you are aggrieved. I know why you're angry. I see what you've said that they did to you. And calm down. So when the both of them have actually calmed down and come to a place of, okay, sir, we can respect your decision. We can respect what you want from us. Then... If there's any need, he can now call the both of them or the two parties together and, okay, they try to settle whatever their scores are. Right now, he has gone to pacify them, if you ask me, because if he had brought the three of them together in one room, I promise you, they probably would have fought. <laughs> they probably would have fought or the argument would have been heated and one person would walk out on the other person. Just a lot of things. Something would have just happened. But as it is right now, um, it's so good that he went to see them separately. We don't know if he's going to see them together anymore. He can now continue this conversation on social media, on Zoom or anything. There are just a lot of ways that you can communicate these days without being there physically. People who are saying, oh, he shouldn't have been there physically. You can tell that this is who this like man is. He's not trying to get anything anymore. You know, he's not, he's not president. He, he might contest for the next um, election. He, you, just, you don't know what he has in plan, but he really doesn't have to do all these things he's doing. He really doesn't have to be in all these places he's going to. He's not the first person to contest for election. Other people that contested with him, they are chilling in their houses or looking for other ways to strategize to win the next election. So I feel like this is who he is. And it's actually a great thing to see him trying to pacify, you know, to mediate um, you know, and make these brothers be at peace again. He's also very patient because if you ask me, as much as I want them to make peace and be, you know, good again as siblings, I really don't care so much if they come back together because I feel like the only person that can make them come back together is them, them they themselves rather. They're the ones making the money, they're the ones missing out on the money they are losing right now. So if they want to come back together, if they decide that peace is more, you know, or that this whole trouble is too expensive for them, then they will come back together. But unless they feel like, oh, we've moved past each other, then they will not. You know, I saw um, Paul posting videos today of him singing in a stadium. And you guys, this is after Peter just said, oh, we don't, sh uh, we don't shut down stadiums anymore. And you're posting that kind of video to show that, oh, oh guys, it's you that doesn't shut down stadiums. So, me, so I if they are, shut maybe they're not really fed up. Maybe they are, they're, still, they're still ego because they have money. They still have money. They're not broken off. <laughs> they probably will never get broken off. And that's fine. They've made money. They've invested the money, which is great. Congratulations to them. That is why I feel like people will be just do your part. You know, see them. You're done what a father would do, a father figure would do. Like I said in my other video yesterday, Peter B is or was the former governor of Anambra State. And these boys are from Anambra. Or these men are from Anambra State. So, you know, he's doing what a father should do you know trying to mediate but if they don't want to <laughs> come back together oh more it is fine when they are making the money they are the ones enjoying they are the ones with soft life from the money they've made if they decided that okay we don't want to make this money again who are we to force them to make this money a whole lot is going on. Wives are unfollowing each other on social media. There are subtle shades left, right, and so center on their like stories. I said, a lot of water is going down the bridge. The more they keep on, this thing keeps on lingering, the harder it is for them to get back together. But if they decide to get back together, great for them. Even if they don't want to get back together, you know, settle your brother. Pay him the money you owe him and you guys can all move on from there. Shout out to Peter B for actually taking the bold step to see um, Paul and to see Peter and to see Jude. You know, trying to get them to, um, you know, stop this whole social media embarrassment because it's actually what it is let me know your thoughts are guys in the comment section it's a real show thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye